Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, I'm in my Starfire cosplay. Wasn't planning on making this type of video in my cosplay, but I heard some stuff today that I wanted to update you guys on because we have been following the whole Amaranth, Indie Fox, you know, who's been banned on Twitch, who's getting unbanned, all that good stuff. And I heard about this today, so I wanted to make a video on it, like, ASAP, because I feel like things are changing so frequently in the Twitch world that by the time I make the video and upload it, everything's already changed. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I know I'm in Starfire, but we're making a video about Twitch drama. So let's get right into it. Basically, the premise of this video today is Andy Fox, this chick, we've talked about her a couple of times on the channel before. She got banned on Twitch. Again, she literally got her account back like less than a week ago and got banned again. Look at this real quick. So if you see over here, she literally got banned on the 18th, unbanned on the 21st, and then banned again on the 28th. Yeah, I was like, are you serious? So she got banned again. Not much of a surprise, right? However, the big surprise is she got stripped of her Twitch partnership after this band from a couple of different articles that I've read and I've looked at so far that this is, this is significant. And I know it's factual because even Commander Root here has posted that as of 20 hours ago, so in the past day, this account is not a partner. It even says is affiliate is false as well. So I don't even know if she's an affiliate anymore. I'm not sure if she can make any income at all on Twitch. So that is pretty substantial because it's not like she's just banned. Because even if she gets unbanned, she can come back to the platform all she wants, but now she's not making any income at all. So I don't know if, you know, Twitch has become her full-time job in the past year. I mean, it could have been. She makes bank on there. But I don't know the whole background of that. I don't know if she's got another job or if she does other things. But Twitch revoking her partnership and potentially her affiliate ship. Is that a word? Affiliate ship? Anyways, Twitch revoking her opportunity to make income on the platform is a big deal. Because it's not really something I've seen them do a lot in the past. Like, obviously, they've taken away you know, some ad revenue or they get banned for X amount of days or whatever. But stripping somebody of their partnership, I feel like doesn't happen very frequently without the person just being permabanned. Now, they haven't said if she's permabanned. It was about three days ago now. So I expect in the next day or two for her to potentially get her account back. I don't even know what it was this time that led to her account getting banned again. But... In the next day or two, we'll see if she gets her account back because she seems like she's been getting three-day bans, but it could potentially be a week if they went as far as to take away her partnership. So <laughs> let's see if we make another update video in two days. But for now, I think that's pretty substantial. I, I don't know what this means for creators like Amaranth or other individuals in the both ASMR, the hot tub streams, the just dances even are getting a little sketch. So other content creators in those categories that kind of push the boundaries a little bit, I'm wondering if Twitch could potentially do something like this to them. Even I think with someone like Amaranth, I don't know what her agreement is with Twitch. I do know that the larger you get as a partner, you can negotiate your contract. So I don't know if she's negotiated it or changed it or whatnot, but it'll, it'll be interesting to see if this revoking of her partnership will follow over to anybody else. Or if maybe that is like the wake up call that some of these creators need. Like if you continue to push the boundaries, we're going to do more than just ban you. We're going to make it so that you can't get any income on this site. And most of these people are motivated by that, you know, and I'm not, I'm not faulting them for that at all. Like if something you're doing is making you bank, why not keep doing that thing? Like, I totally understand why these girls are doing what they're doing on Twitch. But Twitch could be setting a precedent here, and this could be interesting to see going forward what happens as a result, and if any other creators are 
hit next because this was news to me. I heard a couple of like little rumor things floating around the past two days. Wasn't sure who it was about or what it was in reference to, but it seems like the removal of her partnership is something that happened in the last day. So I guess we'll see, one, if her account is unbanned, and two, if she gets her affiliate or partnership back because obviously she surpasses all of the numbers so it's not a means of like her meeting the standards again it's a means of does twitch want to pay her that's all i've got for you guys today i know i kind of repeated myself a couple times because i'm still like processing everything so that's what we've got so far as an update so we'll see what happens going forward but until then Thank you guys so much for all the views you've been getting lately, especially on update videos like these, my my shorts, all of those. Thank you guys so much for the love. I really, really appreciate it. We're getting so close to being able to hit partner here on YouTube, and it's all thanks to you guys. That's all I got for today, though. Peace out and fair winds, my dudes. Bye, guys!